thinking of getting plastic surgery? In our Summer of Secrets, the important questions you need to ask your doctor before going under the knife. And we'll also find out just how many vacation days you'll need to eat up. <laughs> <laughs> the There's the money to set aside and then the vacation exactly. time yes. to set aside. <laughs> also ahead. In my this morning, we wrap up our Summer of Secrets week about plastic surgery. If you're thinking about it, how do you know if you're a good candidate? And what should you ask your doctor before going under the knife? Dr. Mm -hmm. Stephen Davis is a board-certified plastic surgeon. Sarah Eggenberger is a contributing editor at New Beauty Magazine. Nice to have both of you with us this morning. Nice to be here. So, Sarah, New Beauty put out this poll asking mm -hmm. their readers about different procedures and what they would get. What were the results? Right, so if no pain or no downtime was a consideration, we found that 47% of our viewers would actually choose liposuction, which was really, you know, you can understand that, right? Yes, yes, it's, I can. Yes, <laughs> it's also the number one most popular procedure performed on both men and women. 21% would choose a facelift, and then there was also the other category, which consisted of the 47%, excuse me, 32% was for mm -hmm. liposuction. The other consisted of breast augmentation, a neck lift, nose jab, and also a Brazilian butt lift as well. A Brazilian butt lift. Yes. Ooh, only make it into the other category. <laughs> okay. So, Dr. Davis, when, when you hear those numbers, right. when someone is thinking about a procedure and they go in, they come to see you for the first consultation, what is the most important question that they should be asking you? The most important question is, are any of these procedures going to fix what's really bothering me? And, you know, what happens is, I'm coming to a board-certified plastic surgeon to get my options, be it surgical, non-surgical, and I want to know, are any of those procedures really fixing what's been bothering me for so long? And one of the things that I think is happening, in, and it's a dangerous trend, a lot of patients are traveling overseas for mm -hmm. plastic surgery. And the reason for that is they're looking for a procedure that's as cheap as possible. And I think that's a big problem because what you're trying to do, especially going overseas, is there's so many unknowns. Sure. What's the facility I'm going to be in? What's the doctor like? Are any of the materials even FDA approved? Right now I'm treating a patient that's had that problem. She had a breast augmentation and she had an implant put in that wasn't FDA. So then you have to try to correct it. Absolutely. So, so you mentioned too, you know, basically you need to figure out whether you're doing this for the right reasons. Yes. But also how do you know whether you're healthy enough to be a good candidate? Well that two-part question is really answered with one, okay. which is mental health has to be the number one thing that you're really looking for with this patient. Obviously we're going to check EKG and blood work mm -hmm. and things like that, but are they having it done for the right reasons? Are they really doing it or someone else having them have it done. Part of the and question for a lot of people, as you had in your poll, Sarah, is if there was no downtime and you didn't have to worry about all these other things. Let's take yeah. a look. We have some of the downtime and what you have to figure in for some of the most popular right. procedures. Um, a breast augmentation is less than a week. I found some of them surprising. Yeah, well, what's happened over the years, things have really shortened up because the procedures have gotten so much more elegant. So we can see that some of these procedures can really be done in a, within a week. You're back to work, and a lot of them are non-surgical, mm -hmm. which means you may not even have to have any downtime at all. Sarah, do readers ask you about these a lot? Yeah, absolutely. You <laughs> need to be realistic with the expectations of what you're going to have pre- and post-treatment as well. And so you need to be clear as terms of what you're doing for plastic surgery, because everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Everyone is going to have a different recovery time. And things like breast augmentation, if you go underneath the muscle versus over the muscle, you'll have different results in a different downtime. So, good so to talking know to your doctor ahead of time to clear everything up is very important. A lot important. of things to talk about ahead of time. Well, great yes. to have both of you here to start the conversation with us. Dr. Davis, Sarah, thank you both for coming thank in this you. morning. Thank you. Thank you. Up next on today, oh baby, the husband who found out his wife was pregnant before she even knew how that happened. The video is going viral. We'll show you in just a moment. But first, this is today on NBC.